Let's see how to reset your Contabo server. Let's say maybe you want to install the operating system again, or you want to install a different operating system. Let's see how we can do that in this video. So I just log into your Contabo dashboard, and if I come here under VPS control, yes, the option is here. Just go into VPS control, and the option will be here, reinstall. And this will allow you to install a different operating system. So the first thing you need to do is you need to choose the operating system that you want to install. So in my case, I have Debian 11 installed. I will just choose Debian 11 again, and then panel. You can also add a panel if you want. Maybe you want to install one of this panel. You can install Plesk, and you can see based on the operating system that you choose, you can get a different panel. So if you want cPanel, you have to install it. You have to install it on CentOS 7. I don't know which other ones it supports. But you can just test with the different operating systems. For me, I want to install Debian 11. And that will be without panel. And then the password. Create a new password. So make sure you choose a very secure password. So for me, I'm just using this as a sample. And I'm going to paste that there as well. And you can send it to yourself. You can send it to your Contabo email so that you don't forget it. And then I will start installation. So let's just wait for this to happen. And then once we get the email, we are going to see how we can log in via SSH. And then in another video, we are also going to see how we can log in using VNC. So that's the next video after this. We'll see how we can log in via VNC. In this video, we'll see how we can log in using SSH. So I'm going to close this. So as soon as you receive an email like this, it means that your server is already reinstalled and therefore you can log in. So you can see the username has defaulted to root and the password is what you set. And I'm only getting these details because I sent myself the password. If I wouldn't have, then this would not have been sent to me and I would have to copy it from wherever I saved it. So I'm just going to log into this server. If you are on Windows, make sure you download Git and then install Git. So just go to Google and search for Git. And then download Git. And then install it for Windows. And once you do that, you can just open Git Bash. If you're on a Mac or on Linux, you can follow along with, with your terminal. So I'm just going to do SSH root at my IP address, enter, and then my password, I'm going to copy that and it's a good idea to paste it inside of notepad to see if you have any spaces. So I will copy the password, copy. Now, <laughs> now this is a very good thing that has happened here. Warning, remote host identification has changed. If you go to this file on your computer, you already have this IP added with a different key and the new server has a different key. This is what this is about. So what you can do is, since I already have this here, I can just copy this and edit it and I'm going to remove this IP from this file, the known hosts file. When you try to access a server for the first time, it usually gives you an option to add a key. That's where the key is added into this file. So let's edit this with Visual Studio Code. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, just install it. I'm just going to do code. And this entire thing here can be replaced with a tilde. So I'm going to do shift tilde, and then I will do shift insert to paste all that so i copied the wrong thing let me copy this this is what i need to copy shift insert and then this is going to open this file inside of visual studio and then i can remove the ip let's see the ip is 75 119 140 so if i come in here i can remove it and it is this last two lines so i'm just going to delete those and then i'm going to save and as soon as I save that, I can come back here, Control L to clear the screen, and 
and let's try to log in again and this time around you'll see that it wants us to add the key so we need to add the key just type in yes to add the key so it has been added so the next time if you reset your server you have to delete it from your known hosts that's just the security thing so i'm going to copy the password and i'm going to paste the password in there and there we go we've logged into the server and of course you can you can update it apt update so that's going to update our server and that will be the end for this video in the next one let's see how you can log into your contabo server using vnc